Hey, what's up guys? Tony here, and welcome to the first episode of King of the Hill. And if you guys don't remember, go ahead and just kind of refresh your memory right now. What this is, this is a series where you guys pick a gun that we six are going to sit down and review. And in the comment section of the last video, the very first gun that we, were, we took a look at was the AUG A3. And if you want to look right now, up on the screen is the scoreboard from King of the Hill. Now in first place, we've got Andy, and he came out with 99 kills. I was in second place with 98 kills. Akuma and EJ tied for third with 74 kills. Phoenix finished with 67 kills, and Wes finished with 62 kills. So let's go ahead and get into this uh, conversation about the AUG A3. Let's okay. just go ahead and get started okay. with. Let's go ahead and get started with Andy. I want to know, Andy, what attachments did you like to use with the with the AUG? Andy, what did you slap um, on that bit? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's how and how you use her. How, when, and where, and why. <laughs> just, just, yes, as, as Wes put it, what did you slap on her? Um, let me see. Um, holographic side, underslung rail, flash suppressor, or, um, heavy barrel. Uh huh. Just did, pretty wait, much it. Did you put anything else on it? A dress? Please tell me your treat for me. Heavy barrel, that's all. That's it? Okay. Dress her up good and take her around the map a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big map, small map. All right. So, why all did right. you use those uh, attachments, uh, Andy? That's what? what he said. He said the holographic. <laughs> why? 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 Wow, were, you, were you playing sneaky? Were you playing aggressive? You were know you... how I'm playing. I'm... Akuma, no, he does not. Andy does not play sneaky. He plays like in your face, always out getting I'm, you. I'm in playing your face, like the like instant headshot. Yeah. All right. So EJ, what did you put on yo bitch? According to EJ, I uh, <laughs> put on red dot side reflex, underslung rail, and laser side. That's because it, I'm more of a running gun player, so I I like having that higher bonus. All right. What about you, Kuma? Uh, for me, I use the Cobra sight, the um, and uh, no foregrip and heavy barrel. The wait, you say you use the foregrip? No foregrip. No. Not, for, so you didn't use anything. You didn't grip it right? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I wanted to okay. feel loose. You just want to wrap and, and around her? No, I, I just wanted to feel. Oh what? Oh no. <laughs> what happened to Akuma? Did he disappear? Connection. <laughs> oh oh my oh, god. Crash. Wes, what did you Don't. use? <laughs> oh, uh, a holographic sight all the time because, well, it's meant it, it it's better for longer ranges, but it's still it has the same speed for aiming down sights as just a iron sight or like regular just red dot would be. So I just go with that. Uh, underslung rail because you never need a foregrip with that gun. And even if you're using med packs, you may decide you want to switch to say the grenade launcher or say the dart, just to, and it'll give you quicker access. And you can have the uh, the laser sight bonus for the hip fire, and you can actually use a different sight. And depending on if it's close or long range, I would use either the laser sight or the heavy barrel. So for like the game of rush, you had the heavy barrel, and then close quarters the laser sight. Yes. Already, and oh, right. close up, you may end up still like do long, long range engagements. Yeah, just because you're still going the full stretch of the map. Yeah, yeah. all right. So, and last but not least, Lady Phoenix. Um, I think, yeah, I use majority of the time the heavy barrel, uh, foregrip, and uh, I think the reflex sight. Uh, worked up pretty well, but I did change up a bit. I use the laser sight, I use a suppressor. But um, yeah, we'll discuss that later on, I guess. All right, so Just okay, press. so the last, I guess I'll go last. Then uh, those guys who are watching the video, you'll see that I'm using the holographic sight, uh, the foregrip, and the flash suppressor. And I'm the kind of guy that I used to be like a heavy barrel kind of guy, except for now, uh, <laughs> the gun seems to like get away from me a little bit. So I'm I actually prefer the flash suppressor, and I'll, I'll stay with the diminished damage at long range because. My, I don't know about you guys, but the way I like to engage people is usually like medium and like medium long, but not long distance uh, to up close. So I don't really, I don't think, I don't think my playstyle benefits from the heavy barrel, so I don't bother to use it. But um, what, uh, going back around, to Andy, what do you think uh, is a strength of, of this gun? 
I would say that it's gun you can use in in every situation. On close quarters you can use it and on bigger maps. And second strength is um hip firing. So oh okay, so like the hip firing and then the ability to like shoot at long range too? Yep. Uh, EJ, what do you think? What do you think is the strength <laughs> of this gun? Oh uh, yeah, so like Andy said, I would say um, it's more of a jack of all trades weapon, and uh, very comparable to the M16. Obviously not as used or as powerful, but that fire rate, as moderate as it is, you can use it for long range. You can use it for close range, because you can still compete. And obviously, you know, you got that hip fire bonus because it's a bullpup. <clears throat> so I would say the biggest strength is it can do a lot of things well. Weaknesses, maybe the fire rate is a tad on the slow side, but you can still compete. Did you think that having the laser sight would, um, I don't know, like make up for a slow fire rate? Like putting more rounds on target? I'm it, um, it helps with the, um, it definitely helps with hit fire. Uh huh. Cause I, you can tell you can tell the difference. Like if, if I were to put on the, cause I did er, later on, I put the flash suppressor in a heavy barrel, and you can tell there, there was a difference. It was you. I had less bullets on target, but I was. You could still do really well, cause it's it's a bullpup weapon, so you do get that inherent bonus. Oh okay. So I would so, say uh, it's a, yeah. Sorry guys, I had some technical difficulties. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> I can, uh, can you... <laughs> so that, now that you're no. now that you're oh, back. All right, so Akuma, what do you think is like the strength of this gun? I would say for me, it's mainly the, uh, the moderate rate of fire. It, it does help me um, get on target a lot easier. Yeah. And uh, w w if I go full auto, I can even burst it. Uh, but I would say I, I, I do love the uh, rate of fire on it, and the fact that it's a bullpup uh, design. It, it, it helps me every time I uh, do look uh, downside on it. See, you're like me, actually. Everyone is kind of saying that the the fire rate is a negative. I actually mm -hmm. like it. I know I'm jumping yeah. around people here, but I'm with you. I actually like, I think a benefit of the gun is the fact that it does have this, like, slower rate of fire. That way I can, you know, control it better, you know, firing full. Right. It, it, and for me, it, since uh, it, the way it handles, it, because of the, the rate of fire, it helps me get those uh, headshots. A lot more easier since it's I can control the gun a lot better. Since I'm a big uh, on uh, aiming down sights, I cannot. I'm mostly 80% uh, of the time I'm aiming down sights. Yeah, That's you're, where the, the, uh, you're the aim right. down sight king you were saying earlier. Yeah, right. kind of. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right, what about you, Wes? Benefits? Uh, advantages? What was the question? What are the advantages of the AUG? <laughs> oh. Were you not paying attention? Were you not paying attention? Oh. He was YouTubing. Do I ever? Do I ever pay attention? I don't You're know. You're embarrassing us on YouTube. God. I know, come on. This is the first episode. Damn, this is supposed I'm to be the, the best one. We're supposed to put our best think? face for it. What do you think? Loaded, loaded. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, what do you think? Hey. Advantages, disadvantages for the AUG? Well, I think uh, like you guys were saying fire rate. It's like an in between. It, it has its niche. It's not bad. It's not really good. It can help you keep on target, but then again, it can be a double-edged sword and. You still go up against and lose, say the AEK, the F2000, FAMAS. or even the few people that use the FAMAS. Like you. But <laughs> yes, that's another day though. Uh, <laughs> it, it is a bull. I, I the way I see it, it is like the M416. <laughs> it's got a decent. En it's got a decent enough rate of fire. Yeah. It's kind of an in-between weapon, and it's got a decent enough reload. Plus, it still has the 25 damage per bullet uh, output, and it, it's just it's so it's so versatile. You can use it in almost any situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. for me, I myself like to uh, use it at more. It's, uh, it's a medium. Range. It's an in-between kind of gun for me. Right. Like sometimes I like yeah. it. Sometimes I don't. Just, some days you have good. You have good rounds with it. Some days you just don't. So it's like the G36. In some days you'll just beast it up, and other days you just get your ass mm -hmm. kicked with it. Some, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's, it's not one of my favorite guns, but I enjoy using it from time to time. All right. Well, Phoenix, what do you think? Advantages, disadvantages, or no, strengths, weaknesses? I agree. Yeah, I agree with uh, Wes. I mean, I, I well, I usually use guns that are like uh, good for medium range and slower rate of fire. I think it's just the way I play. Like I'm not too aggressive, but I'm aggressive yeah, enough. 
Yeah, and then I get I've got a lot of girls with it. Shut, shut up, you. Yeah. So um, basically, yeah, I think it's de I mean, I think it's a decent we weapon that came out with premium. Um, I did feel like it was a bit. I think I mentioned it once. I think it felt like it was plastic. But what I mean is, it felt really light. Mm -hmm. mm. So um, I think when I put the suppressor on it, I don't know about you guys, but when I put the suppressor, it went crazy, and I was just like, oh my god, take this, take this crap off. And um, the thing is, I haven't used <laughs> the gun before. So I've only got like what I think two server stars or something, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. So I mean I like it. I've, I'm growing to like it. So I've been getting a lot more kills. I've been using it like all day today. Well, not all day because I'm not a bum. I do work, guys. <laughs> don't worry. Um, so Damn, sure. Uh, yeah. That was directed at me, huh? Yeah. Shut up. And the reload is all right as well. I think it's not too bad. But yeah, I think it is kind of like the M16. And funny enough, like I say, I hardly even use the M16. And you could check my stats if you don't believe me, guys. But yeah. So when I did use the M16. I don't want to go. Actually, I'm not going to go off topic. Cause I, that's something. I, I like I like how you have to preface like I don't really use the M16. Not a lot. I don't know. I love that. He doesn't want to be labeled as a tryhard like some. Yeah. yeah. Akuma. Some well, people well, West. Akuma. Before before we get off too far off topic, I want to ask you, what do you mean? Like, do you feel that your character runs a little faster with the AUG? No, I think when I shoot, when I shoot, when I use it to shoot. Oh my god, how many times did I say that? I started there. <laughs> when I use it to shoot. Uh -huh. It's like I don't get as much. Shut up! I don't get as much. <laughs> I don't get as much accuracy out of it. Like, it's not accurate enough for me. Oh, I okay. I am a, I use a very accurate gun because I'm an accurate kind of girl. Well, because you're like yeah, the only gun. person to like talk about weight in like a video game with guns outside of like say the support class. So I was just kind of curious if you felt like you move faster, but just, you feel like the gun like has like horizontal and vertical movement like faster that way. Yeah, well, maybe it's just my high sensitivity, but I don't think it is that actually. Wait, let no, me it's it's, it's, well, it's, it's, yeah. What's up, so, Shuma? Because I, I have quite high sensitivity on it, so. No, maybe that's I, that. I think more what it is, Phoenix. It doesn't have much recoil, it, and yeah. the recoil it has is kind of not really false. It kind of like bounces around. It right. looks like it goes somewhere, but then because of the slower rate of fire, it just kind of goes back to where you were shooting. It doesn't move much. Yeah. And I so mean, it feels like it doesn't feel very, so to say, powerful in your hands. Obviously, it's a good gun, but it doesn't kick like a mule, like, say, the AK the, or the FMOS. Well, that's being part of a, being a bullpup designing. It, it's, it should feel lighter. Uh, it's, it's, it, that way, since you have more movement with all the butt uh like the F2000, mm. uh, I feel like it's yeah. lighter on my hands since the bullpup design. And it's, but the thing is, it, it does get suppressed most of yeah. the time. Um, when I, I'm, I'm, every time I'm up against uh, LMGs or even the, um, the other assault rifles, uh, my 2000 wolves get um, suppressed, and I feel the same way with the uh, with the AUG. Uh, I do get a lot of uh, agility uh, when aiming down sights, but um, uh, it does feel a little toyish, a little light on my hands compared to the other uh, assault yeah. rifles. Well, I and sometimes I, it really does like feel like that BB gun that you just came right. out of Walmart with or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, one thing that I did notice is that when Wes was talking about the bouncing at range, I, I did try to take a couple of shots at guys when we were playing Rush, and uh, I just couldn't stay on target because you're trying to you know shoot a couple of rounds and make sure you get some hits, but the gun would kind of bounce. Like It wasn't like the M16, it's not like the M4, or definitely the ACR, that are like steady, you know, totally steady at range. Just kind of chugs. Yeah. And like it'll, it'll like chugs along. It'll bounce a little bit to one direction or bounce up a little bit, but then it'll go right back. But you're you're all like in your mind, you're already trying to pull that thumbstick down to counter it, and that's gonna me that's messing up your aim. So I so I know the one thing is is people are gonna want to know like what do you guys rate it? How are you guys rating it? And I don't want to go with like a stars or or beers or smiles or whatever. I just want to know. <laughs> Yeah. Rainbows and unicorns. Well, <laughs> what I want to know is, do you guys? Would you guys say this is in one of your top five weapons for the assault class? Oh. Yes, um, I would definitely say yes. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. So we got, we got Andy. Go ahead. Uh, no, I first want to look which weapons are available for the assault class, so I can rate. Well, just right now, like if you were to say. Since we're starting this very first episode, this is the first gun reviewing that's coming out of the assault class. Is it in your top five? Are you automatically going to put it there, or do you or do you not like it? Because everyone here has got at least two service stars with the gun. So would you use it more? Would you use or it? Would you, you, you use it yourself? <laughs> <more? laughs> 
Andy, do you need to find would... a friend? <laughs> do I need to would... translate? Yeah, yeah, Andy, No, I don't shit, need to man. translate, I... <laughs> <laughs> Bam, oh, oh, my I'm god. oh my god, who is this man? Who is this, who is this random? Who is this mysterious Alright, well, let him answer, let him answer, let him answer. Um... I would definitely use it more often. And yeah, it's, it's a nice gun. Okay, so he gives okay. it a good gun. Okay. Um, Okuma, is it in your top five for the assault class? Yeah, uh, definitely. I, I would definitely use it more. Um, it is uh, one of my top five. Uh, should be one of my top five uh, rifles in the near future. I do have more than a thousand kills with it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even notice how high I went up there with that gun. Because uh, I do have, like the feel of it. And I'll definitely be using it in the, in the future. All right. Um, EJ? Top five? Um... I would definitely say yeah, because I prefer slower fire rate weapons, and AUG is uh, high enough for it can compete with other guns. And uh, you know, because I usually like the like the L85, Scar L, those are my kind of guns. So I would definitely say the AUG is up there, top five. All right, Wes. Uh, I gotta say no. No. You know, I like the really Thank fast you. or the really powerful, like the the FAMAS or say shotguns, like the fast shooter. Like. Oh. I don't want to sit there and take my time to make that love. I want to get that fragment. I want to get, get in there and get out. Wham, fast. bam, thank you, ma'am, and in and out, huh? Yeah, just uh, yeah. I want those fire. He's those a ten. He's a ten second guy. I want to get those high fire rate guns and the the powerful uh, close range shotguns. That's what I use on my assault. That if I'm gonna go medium long range, odds are I'm going engineer or occasionally support. Okay, and uh, Phoenix. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely, well, I'm gonna keep it very definitive. I like it. Um, it's keep def it short. yeah, short and sweet, right? It's definitely one of my favorite <laughs> assault rifles for the assault class. Uh, it's kind of it is sort of my go-to. It, it's probably my number one choice for the assault class. So, uh, anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys watching, and I appreciate all you guys taking part in this uh, contest. And so, in the comment section, do me a favor and leave another Pretty gun. Good that you'd like to see us go over and, uh, and see who will be the next king of the hill and maybe try to make it one that's not in the assault class. So, anyways, guys. Um, oh. Yeah, go ahead. Let's play on, let's play on Zibba Tower. Yeah. And anyways, guys. And uh, it would be best if you would um, just write AK-74M in the comments. That would be no, awesome. No, AK. <laughs> <laughs> no AK. No AK. Yeah. <laughs> So oh, everyone's on. everyone's got their choice of what's coming up next, but uh, we'll we'll see what happens Fast in the comment well, section. And and rifle scope. Go. No. <laughs> anyways, right. anyways, guys, we'll see what happens in the comment section, and we'll see what gun we are going to be reviewing next. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. 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 Bye.